Of course, of course they did. Of course they did. Okay, no, I'm not pissing out. <laughs> no, I'm not pissing out. <laughs> I wish you had a camera right now to see my face. Hi everyone and welcome to today's video where we're going to be continuing the releasable challenge, the challenge where we play every nation you for that doesn't exist in 1444. And this week, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, I don't have a camera because I'm on a trip and I forgot my webcam. <laughs> And it's going to be like that for the next two or three videos. I hope it's not a big deal for you guys. But either way, this week, ladies and gentlemen, we're back with the nation of Polotsk. Polotsk is a nation that can be released from Lithuania right here from these couple of provinces up here. And of course, breaking free from Lithuania shouldn't be too much of a problem unless, of course, they become a junior partner of Poland, in which case it is going to be a little bit of a problem. But we should still be able to get some guys to support us. Bohemia, Austria, Hungary, maybe the Ottomans, maybe Muscovy, maybe Denmark, someone like that. So I don't anticipate too much pain in that department. But after that, expanding over here, and becoming a great power and making Lithuania not exist is going to be pretty painful. Even though we're going to be huge on the map, all of these provinces are low dev and we're going to have to conquer a whole lot. So I hope this doesn't take too much time. Obviously, we're going to be orthodox right here. We're going to be a Russian principality, government reform and stuff like that. And I do think we have unique ideas and unique missions. So we'll see what that's all about. Either way, I love playing in this region. So without further ado, let's jump in as Lithuania and then as Polotsk. All right, all right. Here we are as Lithuania. And you know the drill. Right click on ourselves. Go down here. There's Polotsk six provinces that's pretty nice play as release subject and boom here we are as Polotsk alrighty then let's see we start off with 32 dev right here even though we have six provinces so you can see how low dev this is but yeah either way let's choose a government reform there's a Russian principality right there unrest regimen discount gov cap blah 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 you know the drill and uh let me open up this interface actually wait for a month and then see who will support our independence if Lithuania doesn't get pewed by Poland we can probably get like Muscovy yeah just Muscovy but if they do we'll uh, well, I guess we'll have to see. All right, all right, a month has ticked by. Now let's take a look at the Polotsk national ideas. We start off with minus 10% infantry cost and plus one attrition for enemies. I like that. Finishing off with infantry combat, if we even get to there. Then we have cost of fabricated claims, which actually might come in pretty handy here. A government thingy, idea discount, fort defense, trade efficiency, diplo relations, and construction and dev discount. Actually, man, these are <laughs> these are pretty good national ideas. We can also take a mission. Let's go ahead and waste that. And we do have some uh, other missions right here that give us claims and stuff like that. So, uh, so I guess we'll see what all that is about but i think the game wants us to go this way either way it's time for uh, estate stuff let's go ahead and summon the diet we'll go with that let's give religious state religious diplomats clerical education let's go with primacy and increased right here and let's give the burgers land patronage and uh indebted boom there we go that's the setup right there force limit is uh five for now kind of low ish so i'll start building up those regiments immediately and we're probably not making that much money yeah so i'll just try and get a diplo rep guy which we uh well he's a level two guy so let's try and find a level one guy a little bit of time has passed Still no uh, Poland Lithuania event. Our starting ruler is, by the way, uh, 560. That's right. <laughs> so I've started focusing on mill immediately, and I did find a diplo rep guy. But either way, it's time to wait some more. And there's the event. So uh, yeah, Lithuania is a junior partner of Poland. Alrighty then. <laughs> Uh, so Lithuania actually forced me to be uh, Catholic. I think that also happened when we played some other nation right here, which uh, isn't a big deal. We can very easily flip back to Orthodox just by, uh, you know, provoking some rebels right here, reducing missionary maintenance. And uh, actually, there they are. The zealots are already there. But uh, we can't seem to accept uh, what you call it. Their demands are subjects, rebels. We don't have subjects. H how do I accept them? Do I have to provoke? Oh, I got to provoke them first. Right, right, right. Uh, how can I do that? Maybe lowering some autonomy yeah a little bit of time has passed i've actually gotten crimea of all nations to support me obviously uh we can't break free from just them but sweden's independence is being supported by poland here so maybe once uh this war right here pops off we can do something either way i still think we need someone else to support us meanwhile rebels they're pretty close to popping off and then i'll accept and i'll flip back to being orthodox i think we do need to be orthodox man to get musk of your you know what maybe as catholic we can get like one of these three guys i don't know now i think this is an event that can help us out a lot man the first option right here we lose money but gain some bonuses in our like capital or something but look at this everyone well at least every orthodox guy to the right of me here muscovy and their boys their opinion of me gets increased by 50 and we gain prestige so this is really nice by the way no internet because uh well i don't have internet <laughs> orthodox zealots finally popped out uh let's see if we can go ahead and accept their demands orthodox becomes the new state religion and uh yes that's that's exactly what i wanted to happen uh now we can go back to being a russian principality of course and uh we're back to being orthodox so let's try and get these guys to 
support us, man. Hey, there it is. They're uh, they're no longer hostile. Even though they want my provinces, we can ask them. Sweet. There we go. Perfect. All right. Crimea and Muscovy versus uh, Poland, who's luckily only allied to Sili. Uh, wait, who do we declare war on? Yeah, on Lithuania. So Poland, Sili, Mazovia. By the way, Moldavia went to Hungary and us. Uh, hmm. You know, this is doable. What about TAC 3-3? Three, three, I'm 4... I'm three as well, actually. Muscovy's three. Muscovy's starting guy is a two. Poland's guy is a one. So Muscovy should get tech before these two guys do. All right, let's try and wait for that opportunity. Now, Muscovy has gotten mil tech four. These guys still haven't. I also got it. Uh, another thing is this right here, uh, it doesn't calculate Muscovy's, uh, Muscovy's little minions right here, right? There are like five vassals. So I think we're actually very good to go right here. I don't have any claims on Lithuania. No big deal. But I think we can go ahead and do this, man. Miltech advantage plus additional troops which aren't down here. Uh, yeah. I think we can do it. So let's get it, baby. All right, it's time to uh, get some dubs over here. Let's give our ruler milk command. He's actually not that bad. And I'll actually go ahead and uh, get some more loans to get the free company as well. And what I think we should do now is uh, run away to Muscovy and come back with them. War is going pretty okay-ish. Won some battles, lost some battles. We're now stacking on Krakow right here. These guys will never get my fort. It's really, really defensible. I mean, 33%. It, it's still, it's pretty good. I think we can get Krakow. I mean, we for sure can get Krakow before this and then come back and liberate it, you know? Uh, I did occupy some stuff right here, so Muscovy doesn't. Yeah, things are looking okay. Okay, this is where we're at, and I think I should go ahead and peace out because I'm at 99% war score, and they're uh, probably about to get Krakow. Let's, uh, wait, they're at 42%. Okay, let's hope they don't get it in 11 days while, uh, while I recall my diplomats. Of course, of course they did. Of course they did. Okay, no, I'm not pacing out. <laughs> no, I'm not pacing out. <laughs> I wish you had a camera right now to see my face. While we're in this war tier two cover form time, we can separate the boyars from the court. Uh, yearly government power and boyars influence. Kind of lame, honestly. How influential are these guys? Not that much. So we can go with uh, strength and right here. I feel like we're going to need it. Attritioning in all this territory. Just got a core on this right here from an event. Why Why are these events never next to me? All right. Resieged Krakow. Let's go ahead and peace out. So obviously we're going to want to get independence right here. And then if I take his stuff, Muscovy will be mad. Of course, Muscovy will be mad. Crimea will be mad too. Okay, can I ally anyone immediately after this war ends? Hungary? Nope. What about Austria? Doesn't seem like it. What about Bohemia? Nope. So we do got to remain friendly with these guys. All right, can we do something like this? What about that, Muscovy? Huh? Okay, what about this? Uh, Crimea, that's occupied by Crimea. Okay, what if I give you this, Muscovy? All right, like this trust is only reduced by seven, so they won't break their alliance with me. And what if I get war reps? I think they'll be salty, even more like that. Trust lowers by 10. Uh, yeah, not a lot we can do. This is going to be it in this initial war, boys. I don't want to lose more trust with them. I got to remain allied. So uh, there's our initial war done. All right, stabbed up once and another time through an event. Let's lower this eh, once. That's good enough. Let's core this up and let's try and look for other allies. And maybe we can fight the Livonians here. So I'm going to start spying on them. Maybe Novgorod too? Yeah. And actually, there's even more stab. Perfect. You know, tech for it, every category loaded on points. You know what that means. Time to dev the Renaissance. So let's encourage dev. We'll do it in our capital. It's literally like one of the cheapest provinces even though it's woods so uh yeah let me bump it up a couple of times right here uh let's expand infrastructure to go back down to cheaper of course we do have feudalism what is this this isn't the manchurian tribes so uh yeah let's keep uh diving for it no what we're not going bankrupt we're not going bankrupt renaissance has been devved we can also embrace it perfect let's go ahead and uh sell it to someone maybe okay crimea will buy it not that bad meanwhile i have spied on novgorod they're like five provinces large but they have so many cores left so i'm thinking we can fight novgorod here vassalize them you know reconquer their course from denmark when they're in a weak situation and later maybe even from muscovy if we uh ever you know decide to turn the tide on them so yeah let's get ready to fight novgorod uh i think that's that let's declare for luki probably vassalizing these guys well, the war is done a little more annoying than I thought it'd be, but uh, honestly, no big deal. So uh, yeah, man, let's uh, let's make these guys our vassal, huh? What about this province right here? Is it worth taking for ourselves? I mean, eh, they might be mad if I take land from them, but you know what? Why not? Why not do it? And let's take all of their money too. And there we go. They're our vassal, right? Yep. Yes, they are. Boom. There we go. Now, these guys should hate us a bit because we were rival, but uh, I don't think there's uh, anything we can't deal with. 
All right, let's improve relations with them. I uh, maybe wait for the truce with Lithuania to expire. Maybe fight the Livonian Order. Uh, will Muscovy help us with this? They won't, but the Teutons won't help them. This actually might be doable here. Let's see what happens. Well, apparently this is what happens. Uh, they want my subject. Yeah, yeah, of course. Of course they do. Okay. You know, they're pretty strong themselves, man. They got hungry as an ally too. Uh, I think I gotta be threatened by them as well. Maybe try and link with Poland. That's not gonna happen, bro. Not gonna happen. I can actually take out... Oh, wait. I need to give out the cheaper advisor thingy as well so there's a clerical there's a aristocratic and there's commercial advisory but indebted to the burgers is the most important yeah maybe we can get like two buildings up but that's what's up uh do we have any centers of trade i do smolensk is one i guess and then we can put one in our capital too since we dev that up all right uh i'm trying to get some other allies man i supported sweden's independence i think i'll declare on the livonian soon okay uh sweden actually popped off their independence against denmark the main reason i did this oh look how many people support them dude i've never seen the yeah, I get this much support. Wow, England, Scotland, Poland with Lithuania and all of their boys, Muscovy and all of their boys. This is going to be easy. The main reason I did this was um, so I could get an ally, basically. <laughs> oh, we might be able to get Novgorod's course back. Nice event. Either way, while all of this tomfoolery is going on, and by the way, some portions have been occupied by Novgorod, let's uh, let's go ahead and do our own little tomfoolery by declaring on the Livonian order. Uh, there we go. First idea group time, I think Diplo would be a really good choice right here, you know, to help us get more allies, the diplomats, aggressive expansion, you know, taking more provinces in a war. I feel like our military isn't really that weak right now, but yeah, I, I do think we uh, we need Diplo very much. I'll actually make Riga my vassal here. Riga are like a uh, really good trade vassal and stuff like that too. Uh, let's force our religion on them as well. Frick it, why not? Uh, there we go. And it's a wrap with the Livonians, and I think I'm going to full annex them, honestly. Uh, uh, a coalition won't form only Denmark will be mad, so I think this is really good. I, I didn't think you could full annex these guys for some reason. I I don't know why. Uh, there's all their money too, and that's that. We're done. Nice, man. Uh, kind of similar blue to Sweden and Danzig right here. Might get confused, but overall, I'm pretty satisfied with the growth rate here. 169 dev, which is not bad at all. Uh, our main problem is trying to figure out a way to fight Poland Lithuania, man. I really, really desperately need big allies. Bohemia, Austria, Hungary, anyone. Okay, Sweden did break free from Denmark. They're uh, pretty powerful, took some land. I'm guessing Muscovy might break their alliance. Oh, I think Novgorod got a core or two back. Yeah, they did. All right, that's dope, man. That's dope. Uh, Yeah, we, we really got to find a way to fight Lithuania right here. Sweden, they're allied to Poland, right? So that's not really possible. I'm currying favors to make them end that alliance, but I still, I can't do it on my own. Sweden did end it with Muscovy. I, I don't know if they'll end it with Poland. Let's, let's see. Meanwhile, I still don't have any progress on the alliance situation now boys let's take a look at this situation man if i wanted to declare on lithuania right here sweden wouldn't help them right crimea would help me now sure they have a little more troops than me but poland's out of manpower and well lithuania we're about the same not that i'm super high or anything but i got a miltek advantage i'm miltek six now all of these guys are five i can go into a little you know pretty costly war right here get some mercs up but i think this is a really good time to declare on them especially with Crimea's help. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. Let's go ahead and take out some more big boy loans. We're going to go quite into the negative right here, but uh, I think it has to be done. So let's uh, let's not get the free company, I guess. Alrighty then, we're going to have to get some of these expensive guys. So how about the Novgorod company and the Lithuanian company and the independent Cossack host? That's all I have to say about that. Let's get it. War is going pretty good. I've been getting lots of dubs due to the Miltek advantage, but um, I don't know how sustainable this is. Crimea's in this war with the Kazan and the Great Horde. Look at what's happening to them. Uh, I'm pretty uh, not too happy with this one. Let's go representatives of the crown right here because I'm playing with subjects. I, I just need to get more war scores somehow. I gotta go for Warsaw. Crimea obviously got knocked out because they lost their Great Horde, and I feel like we got a dip here as well. I did manage to get some more dubs, you know, get Warsaw and stuff like that. So let's try and get these valuable provinces up here. They will give that to me. Maybe something else to you know what i'm actually pretty satisfied with this yeah let's call it right there boom size of the lithuania is so large man we need like three more wars let you know when we finish diplo two more wars to take them down i'm just not feeling very powerful myself you know muscovy if they gather enough strength if they call in hungary i feel like they could defeat me either way let's chill a bit and still Look for some allies. All right, now we got to save our economy. <laughs> well, we fixed our economy. I did ask Riga to divert trade, which was uh, actually pretty important. Uh, yeah, now we're just going to have to deal with a bunch of rebels. So uh, let's raise forts and army maintenance again. Oh, army maintenance is already up. Perfect. Ah, Cleves is the emperor. <laughs> really feeling stuck here, boys. There's like no one we can declare on, man. It's so tough in this region. Muscovy to your east, Poland, Lithuania to your west. Like, Sweden's my boy. If I get rid of them, I'll be allyless. I allied Wolgast out of sheer desperation. I don't know, man. 
man. Tough. Oh, what the hell happened here? <laughs> Austria is a junior partner of Naples? <laughs> I guess they're in the independence war right now, right? Or no? No, they're not. Oh, yeah. An Austrian succession where Hungary contested it. Jesus Christ. Such a weird game. Now, I can ally Hungary. They're also allied to Muscovy. So, potentially, with creating favors, I can make them end that alliance. They're in the succession war with Naples, Austria, Savoy, Venice, and Lucas. So, everyone else is on that other side. No, they're gonna lose. Ah. Uh, now, hold up. What about this? I can declare Muscovy. Hungary wouldn't help them. Sweden would help me. Muscovy or Miltech 6. Sweden is 7. I'm 7. They're, you know, okay-ish with main power. But the main thing is they're in this war. Which they could end pretty quickly. Great Horde and Uzbek. Uzbek is so far away. I think this uh, is something we should actually do. <laughs> Alright, this is potentially another, you know, difficult war like the one with Poland and Lithuania. But I don't know if we're ever going to get a better opportunity. So let's declare a little reconquest for Neva right here. Calling our boys Sweden. If we blitz them, you know, go to Moscow, blah, blah, blah. I think this can be done. Ah, two forts here. Alright, at least I can bomb. Okay, they ended it with the Great Horde. We gotta prepare here. They're low on manpower, but, you know, there's... <gasps> Melt decay. I don't care how ahead of time it is. Okay, now I'm two techs over them, bro. There's no way they're winning. There's uh, Admin 7 as well. And let's go... Uh, what do we go with here? I really don't know. Quality. We already got infantry combat, so let's go quality. All right, I'm completely fricked on manpower right here. I think we gotta call it. So I've given occupation of all of Novgorod scores to them. Now, what really matters to me in this war is this right here. And um, then as much of Novgorod scores as we can. Maybe something like this. Okay, I'm decently satisfied with that. Let's try and give them back some more. They will still accept. Uh, What about that and that? Okay, we're still good. And um, yeah, that's about as much as we can get. I would go on further we can completely obliterate these guys it's just look at this so uh yeah we're about done here man but uh that was pretty nice okay there's another uh mission our, our first mission actually we got some claims on whatever it doesn't matter too much we are a bit stronger now it'll just take so long to recoup until we can fight uh pull on lithuania and now i can ally hungary too they're not allied to <gasps> austria's a junior partner hungary they actually won that were the absolute mad lads Perfect. Now, they definitely help with Poland, bro. Awesome. Meanwhile, the Great Powers list situation looks like this. Not... <laughs> progress is not too good here. I guess by the time we eat up Lithuania, uh, we'll be good, but, uh, yeah. Now, this is an event we haven't seen in a while, okay? Um... Oh, he's... he's really good. <laughs> he's really good. Now, you may have noticed that I don't have any manpower, right? But what you may not have noticed is that I'm gonna declare on Lithuania, yes! Let's declare for Oopti right here. <laughs> I know that's not what it's pronounced, but uh, let's call in Sweden, Hungary with the loyal Austria and loyal Moldavia, by the way, and Wolgas. There we go. Troop advantage, tech advantage. Uh, I'm not going to try and do too much in this war. Prospering times in which province right here? This one, which is in the Kiev trade node. Now let's, uh, let's create another center of trade pretty much. Yeah, we're about done here. I didn't fight too many battles. In fact, I didn't fight any battles myself, almost any. So, uh, yeah, let's wrap it up right here. I'm going to take these four provinces up here. Now, this is going to be a lot-ish of AE, but uh, you know what? I don't really mind too much. Let me take a look at the areas right here. All right, let me go and take Pripyat too, and a coalition might form like that. I understand. How about this too? That's like ADA. <laughs> That's uh. That's way too much, man. But no one really cares, huh? Yeah, no one really cares. Okay. In that case, I'm about done. Perfect. Let's take a look at the AE map mode. Yeah, not bad at all, man. It's just Denmark, Poland, Lithuania that are mad. I'm uh, I'm really satisfied with that. Let's core that up. Uh, Lithuania can be taken down in uh, just one more war. That's perfect. And meanwhile, my dev has climbed to 370, which is still low compared to the other guys in the list. But hey, we'll get there. Don't worry. I might even fight Muscovy again. You know, uh, why not give the boyars strong duchies and the integration policy and annex Novgorod, right? They do have a couple of cores left, but they're all like three dev provinces so it doesn't matter that much i'm gonna annex them that's like half a uh, vassal dev for me right so about 30 more dev muscovy took some provinces from lithuania here bohemia might do something to poland i've actually never seen this uh <laughs> you know i don't have any relations with bohemia but now i have this province which was my core from an event which i'm disconnected from amazing thank you bohemia wait no i'm actually a genius I'm actually a genius. Yeah. Dude, truce with uh, these guys is gonna be up in like 10 years. I literally don't have anything to do until then. Meanwhile, I have found myself on the Great Powers list, but even if I get colonialism, I won't be above any of these guys. Whoa, I think I found a major opportunity to declare on Muscovy. So let's do it. Uh, a conquest from Moscow, actually. I'll call in Hungary, which of course will drag in Austria and Moldavia. And I think... Uh, 
Well, I think that's the play, boys. Once again, we're out of manpower here, man. It's just that these low dev provinces, harsh winners and stuff like that. Yeah, it'll do that. And we're not getting too much. Either way, I'm about done here. So I'm going to take, uh, I think, this entire area, this entire area. You know, it's a lot of AE, but we haven't fought an Orthodox nation in so long. So I'm going to do something like this. I hope that's a lot of death. Um, yeah, there we go. Now we're at uh, three, no, 548. Wow, that's actually really good. Sweet. Uh, we still need to wipe out Lithuania, though. So uh, mission accomplished. Woohoo. Consolidate the state. Conquer Moscow. Uh, conquer Novgorod. Perfect. Too bad all of these missions tell us to go this way instead of this way, but about time, man. Okay, truce with Poland and Lithuania expired. Let's assess the situation. Poland and Bremen, and then me, Hungary, Austria, Moldavia. Yeah. Yeah, that's... <laughs> That's that, man. That's that. All right, let's go knock out Lithuania in this final war right here. Let's just check their province war score cost. Yep, we're good. We can full annex them. Get a Galicia Volhynia some cores back over here from Lithuania. So yeah, let's do a little reconquest for that right there. Call in the boys and uh, let's get it. And after this, we'll def colonialism and we'll be home free. I can call in someone else too? Sure. That's a wrap on Diplo quality. Yeah, it's over, brah. It's over. Ugh. Let's give these guys their stuff back, and I'm gonna take everything else right here. Perfect. And we even have a little bit of war score to go, so let's give it leave back to uh, Galicia Volhynia. There we go. Lithuania is gone. Play crab rave. Yes. Uh, okay, let's core this up, assess the situation, and then dev colonialism in the cheapest province, which is, uh, mm, yeah, some of these right here. Right next to our capital, perhaps? Yeah, let's do Visma or something. Nice. I mean, no need to wait to core this up. We can just uh, start spawning it immediately. So the cheapest one was Visma right here, since it's a grassland cloth producing province. So uh, yeah, I guess we can start bumping it up. Too bad it's not that close to our capital, and too bad we don't have uh, that many points. But uh, sorry, Vyazma. All right, I spawned colonialism. Finally, you know, at the end of the game, everything is looking real good. Making lots of money stacked on manpower, dude. Why wasn't it like this when I started? You know, I just I just wished I, I sometimes played a releasable nation where, you know, we started off rich and powerful. Even converted everything. You know, I realized I can just dev some other provinces to boost it there as well. <laughs> there it is in another one. Oh, nice. Oh, sweet. Excellent. There's the loans right there. Let's go ahead and embrace colonialism. And now we are number two on the great powers list just below Spain and... And above Hungary and England that also have colonialism. But yeah, there you go, man. Start off as Polotsk and these couple of provinces right here after releasing ourselves from Lithuania and, you know, after struggling to get people to support our independence, only getting Crimea. I did manage to get Muscovy once I flipped back to being Orthodox. And uh, then it was a pretty easy-ish independence war, I'm not gonna lie. But after that, expansion was so slow. Being trapped between the PLC and Muscovy, just pushing into them. They're literally the only two nations I fought, well, uh, along with Lithuania and but you know they don't really count that much but after i wiped them out i had nowhere to go struggled with cash and manpower early on did some slow construction of buildings look i haven't built that many you know marketplaces haven't built that many production buildings you know very few churches a couple of army buildings here and there but overall did struggle with the economy of this game quite a lot these trade nodes right here are pretty poor until you conquer a lot of the baltic and stuff like that or maybe all of novgorod but then you need all of this as well if you're holding novgorod so uh struggle with that show with manpower a bit here too due to all the harsh terrain and a harsh winners and stuff like that it is pretty severe lots of attrition and lots of difficult wars struggle to get allies too this is who i'm allied now sweden wolgast and hungary i could barely get hungary i only got sweden because i supported their independence no one else liked me dude and this was a pretty tough game that i did not expect honestly but polotsk super fun nation man on underrated nation i would say not a lot of people know about it probably pretty good national ideas pretty good mission tree you can go on to form ruthenian later on become a tsardom and stuff like that nice government reforms nice government abilities and stuff like that so overall uh i did have quite a lot of fun but ladies and gentlemen boys and girls i'm happy to say that this campaign as polotsk in releasables has been a success and that has been polotsk in releasables now i don't have internet so i can't spin the wheel well i could put on a hotspot but then again i also don't have the wheel bookmarked on my uh laptop right here so yeah i really don't have a way to choose which nation we're gonna play next time but uh hopefully i'll be back home before i have to record the next releasables and i'll just uh you know spin the wheel before the video so uh yeah don't let me know anything in the comments below just leave a like subscribe the usual and uh that's that if you want to watch me do stuff like this live you can follow me on twitch.tv slash live and if you want to catch up on stuff from over there you can subscribe to the second channel link is in the description if you enjoyed this video don't hesitate to leave a like it really helps out a lot and if you like the content i want to see more videos like this make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of them and you can become a member today and join the discord the link is in the description thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time with another eu4 video